things. Welcome back to the Sinking City. What the hell is that? I just noticed it. Whoa. Can I take a photo? I did it again. You're not really interested in that, hey? Eh? Yeah. No wonder. Okay. Facebook. Come on, work with me. Work with me here. Thank you. Forlorn woman. This city, no matter how badly the flood damaged it, has an unnatural appeal. I can't stop myself from walking even if it means being struck by further visions. I went to the eastern part of the Salvation Harbor, in the crossing of Fitz O'Callaghan Street and Old Church Road. It came. The feeling of loneliness and fear was immense. I was a more woman, locked in a room, infected and slowly rotting. My body turned into something. It itched badly, and my face. I had to hold the skin with, my, with both hands to prevent it from growing until I suffocated. I ended up sitting on the road, crying, until some insmuffer kicked me and ordered me away. Fitz O'Callaghan Street and Old Church. Here it is. Oh my goodness, which one was that? Oh, yes, the woman? Oh, I can just... I don't like that. I can just check it? No, 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 we're gonna read it all. The visions are testing me, playing with my mind. My old forgotten fears come to life. When I was small, I was afraid to stay alone. I thought my parents would leave me and never come back. Today I went to the eastern streets of Coverside and the visions came on the corner of St. Elmo Lane and Kingsport Street. I felt I was alone, forgotten in a locked room, hungry and frightened. It was so scary to stay inside, but everything was much more behind. Everything scratched in the corridor and there were terrifying screams from outside. I could not run, could not hide, I just waited for mom to return. Mm, cover side. Yeah. Elmo. Where's Elmo? Here's Elmo. And not Lincoln. Kingsport here. Come on. Eh. That's. I'm afraid someone stalks me. It started when I visited Western Advent and had a vision at the intersection of Purity Road and Oak Street. I saw mirrors full of reflections, and someone trapped, trying in vain to escape. His expression of fear and panic shook me deeply. After that, a very tall and skinny man started following me in the distance. What troubles me is that I see him in the reflections, but have never caught a straight view of this stalker. I'm sure the police will mock me if I come asking for protection. Seems it is time to buy a gut, trust for a gun, and start to practice. Advent. Advent. Purity and... Oak? Yeah. No, my goodness. I was walking... No, no, no. Okay. No matter how different my visions may be, they are always so frightening. Today it was man. He left the house in Southern Old Grove on Warwick Street, somewhere between Seaside and Hillside Street. Our eyes met, and I immediately felt the burning exaltation, a wild torrent of emotions. I saw him among the monstrosities, touching them, embracing, kissing. The vision was so intense. I bent in two and threw up all my breakfast. He walked past, saying something like, Curse newcomers, and I prayed he wouldn't stop to help. Even now, when I close my eyes, I see the creatures around this man. Where was it? Oh, 
salt and old growth. Okay. Okay. Somewhere here. Ah, god damn it. Between between seaside, so it's somewhere in here or somewhere. Can I have two? Yes, I can have two for the same case. Tonight the air forced me to leave the hotel. At the putrid smell of rotting seaweed and fish made it hard to breathe. I remembered a huge apple tree and thought it may be nicer there. Moreover, I was afraid that the hotel owner would see my seizures. The visions occurred when I was a few blocks from the apple tree, walking E. Brown Street in Central Shells. I felt like I was drowning. I went forward and when I passed the street of St. Michael's, Michael's Church, I felt the water surrounding me, pressing, calling. I needed all my will to fight the desire, the desire to go to the mirror and sink into its depths. Central shells, shells, and a brown streets. To that, oh, okay. Central issues. Central has a brown street to the east of the corner with some Saint Michael's Road. Michael's. God damn it. Okay, somewhere here, let's say. I was walking the Lambert Street in Eastern Reeds Heights when it happened again. It's not just a vision, but a noise. Hissing radio static, growing louder and louder. Voices from afar were lost in it, crying desperately. I tried not to show how bad it was. I was afraid to reveal it to the locals. The images came after I passed Bullock Street toward Hillock Street. The hissing flooded my the hissing flooded my mind, and I saw a man surrounded by radios, talking to them. He was dying. I felt it, and when it happened, the vision was gone. Eastern Reed Heights. Reed Heights. Reed Heights. And it was where exactly? On the Lambert Street. Kilok Street and Bullock Street. I keep getting lost, sorry. Uh, Here it is. On Lambert Street between Hillock. Eh, it's here, come on, work for me. It's here to here. I'm afraid of the bathroom and kitchen sink. Each time I want to wash my hands, I tremble in fear. What if they will talk to me? This began after a vision in Western Reed Heights, near the crossing of Abel, Ward and Baker Streets. I saw a man naked and covered in blood, in a room without doors or windows, surrounded by the dark holes of the pipes. He was cutting himself, piece by piece, feeding those copper mouths. They were whispering with voices, so sweet and promising, but full of hunger and hatred. How could he believe them? Could he even escape? And had they noticed me? So it is one. Western Reed again, the crossing of Baker, Ward, I saw Ward, something here, Ward and Abram, yeah. Man, work with me. Okay. I can't help but turn around at any noise after what I saw yesterday. I walked down the Murdoch Avenue in Western Advent and near Oak Street I was hit with an excruciating migraine. My nose started to bleed and the visions came. I saw one man writing a letter and another about to strike him from behind. Somehow I was both the spectator and the sitting man. 
but no matter how I cried out, warnings or tried to move, it didn't work. It seems I lost conscious, consciousness when the killer hit the man, he, man's head and it took me several hours to get back to the hotel after. Hmm. Western Advent. Advent was somewhere here. Murdoch Avenue. Okay, those two are pretty... And okay, yeah, they're not close at all. I want to look closer. After this vision, I shake in fear at the sound of a child's cry. It happened in the western Reed Heights on Washington Street. I passed I Avon Street and was heading toward Oak Street but saw it. The thing was running so fast I didn't even understand what it was. It jumped from the window and the vision struck me immediately. I saw a man, a doctor, hiding in the room. He was writing something with a shaking hand, something like a last will. And then I saw the thing stalking him. A fetus on thin pointy legs, with a little face full of evil and hatred. It's shrieking. I can't forget it. No wonder you can't forget it. I wouldn't either. Read, 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 it's here. Washington Street is somewhere here. Or not. I saw that street. Washington Street, Avon. Wasn't Avon somewhere here? No, it's E. Brown. <laughs> so, and Oak Street. Oak Street, I see. Oak, Oak Phillips. Wait. Oak Street, so it should be. Washington Street. So it's f somewhere here. Between Avon and oh, okay, it's somewhere here. The local in Smallfords scare me a lot. I've never seen a place with so many ill people. Their faces pursue me even in visions. Recently, I was in the northern part of Grimhaven Bay, walking down Whisper Street. I barely made it to Hubert Avenue when the visions came. I stood among many in Smallfords, disguised as one of them, and listened. Their leader read the story of a campaign participating in pagan rites, copulating with savage food, witches and beasts, bringing, bringing sacrifices. I still remember his name, Obed. I recall the name, but I don't know where we're from. Northern Greenhaven, okay, so finally somewhere here. We're going of Hubert Avenue. And Whisper Street, I see Whisper Street. And I'm blind, it's here. Okay, it's here. Come on. Thank you. Today I fell asleep on the street. I'm sure it's connected to my vision somehow, because I felt the same nausea and headache as before the strike. It happened in Coverside, near the corner of Tanner Street and Old Church Road. I felt dizzy and my mouth was full of bittersweet taste. I saw a woman with kind eyes giving me a drink and whispering something. Immediately after that, I fell asleep and spent nearly half the day lying in the dirt like a hobo. It's a miracle no one stole anything from me. Where? Well, somehow I lost it. Western Coverside. Coverside is here. Tanner Street, Old Church Street. Old Church. Old Church. Tanner Street is here. Okay, let's venture out. What's that? Oh. Oh! Okay. You can consult map anytime, I guess. 
but the right now I'm pretty well, pretty much lost the amount of stuff happening up here, compass can I- <gasps> I can swim? oh no no okay first of all first let's see first of all let's see let's go there it's V V meant something bad, right? V it's in the lore it's in documents Hobo Hobo The Bishop side is good for is for barricaded dangerous places. Definitely barricaded. It's supposed to be dangerous. Uh, it was not get up. What's that? Okay. Okay, I don't wanna be here. I definitely don't wanna be here. Get back. Go back. Go back. That's a, that is some silent hill stuff and uh, nope nope no uh -huh. mm -mm. mm -mm. Damn it I've played too much Breath of the Wild lately and I keep Ah Okay 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 we've got it It is done. Okay. Let's consult the map. Let's see, there's something right here. Oh. Okay, that might be our first side case. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm I have no driver license, I'm sorry. Where is it supposed to be? If I if that was correct. Okay, I right here I have to do a circle. I heard something. Oh, hello. Can I talk to you? I suppose not. It's V. Is it really there? Yep, that's it's definitely there. Okay, I can try. Come on. No! Go away. Go away. Please, please. I'm going crazy! Can we run? Definitely not going there. Nope. See, so yeah, where am I supposed to go? That wow, it's blocked passage. Okay, where am I supposed? To? You have no idea. <laughs> totally lost. There's enough no information about the. 
Right, oh, right, 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 right. It should be somewhere here. So left and go all the way. Left. I'll get it eventually. All the way. That's it. Maybe I should have ah, quit my gun. I received a lot of bullets, I think. That was strange, and I don't <laughs> not like that. It's still in front of me. No. No, let's go for the key icon first. I don't really like the way it loads up. Roosevelt. It wasn't Roosevelt. Still ahead of us. Can I take your boat? Yeah, it's here. Newcomers? Burn your eyes clean, for the dusk of time is at hand. Here is the prophecy inscribed. So listen to him. Oh, sorry, sorry. There's awfully a lot of people around here. Actually, places like that are abandoned. Is that the place? No. Suits and top coats, and find clothing. Something here. Yay! Found it. What the hell? Yes, I don't need the key. Hmm. Divers with the bands can suffer from numerous symptoms, including pain, impaired movement, nausea, vomiting, and disorientation. Acute symptoms can occur within 10 minutes of surfacing and include paralysis, numbness, blindness, deafness, dizziness, seizures, confusion, or words coming out all weird. The paralysis and numbness can involve several different parts of the body at the same time. And this is kind of true. Left of the expedition. I think someone been here before you. Someone smashed it beyond repair. Ooh. Okay, some more gunpowder. Nothing beneath the stairs. The hell is that? Eels? Do not fall down. According to our data, the places with paranormal activity have a strong, previously un unidentified influence on the human mind. We have prepared a list of solutions, including medi meditative practices and a supply of sedatives, to prevent cases of madness among the expedition members. I highly recommend discarding all those charms, amulets and religious symbols, which are of no use, and applying these scientifically valid methods of protection instead. Say I ever saw another shell like it. Yeah, it looks pretty gross. It looks gross. Hey, 
L. Sullivan and B. Morgan, local fishermen, report numerous large bubbles and an unbearable stench rising from the bottom of the sea. But a sample of a weird substance floating in the ocean from J. Harvey. He claims he found it among numerous dead and strangely deformed fish. The fish were taken for analysis. Several locals mention a rock that falls from the seabed, making the fog shine in different colors. The witnesses felt sick and dizzy for two or three days after the incident. L.P. Stern got severe burns after chiseling off a part of the rock in his basement. Samples taken for analysis. These samples glitter in a weird way. I wonder where they came from. From basement? Map of Cape Cod. It looks like there was something here, but it's been erased. The Oakmont University Department of Anthropology welcomes the newest addition to its ranks, Professor Harriet Doe. Her brilliant discoveries about the origin of Inuit tribes have added a new page to the history of Book of Humanity. Now, Professor Doe will embark on a new expedition to hopefully shed light on the source of the flood, and in doing so, shed light on what may yet be to come. That's it. Let's see whether we can find something. Map of Cape Cod. It looks like there was something here, but it's been erased. I'm pretty sure I'm missing something. Oh. It's very trippy. Let's see. Do we have Cape Cod on No. Okay, we don't have it. Our map. Is no, there's no conclusion, so just something else to find. Can you can you not do your hoodoo? Okay. Why is there a strange sound coming from this wall? There are a few damp papers all that's left of the expedition. Oh my goodness, what the hell was that? Okay, let's see again that we can find something. Really? There are a few damp papers all that's left of the expedition. That's all. What? What the hell? Oh no, 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 no. There was something strange about that. Come on, use it. How can you? How can you use it? Really? Please? No? Oh. Must be deliver unreadable Grimhen Van Bay no later than Friday. Okay. Please. 
Please don't. Why are you? Hey, wait, 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 wait. Can I shoot him? That's not it. What the hell? Oh, I went inside. Any clue? He was on in small fur, that's for sure. He was looking for something here. I guess this helmet's beyond repair. Kinda. Papers. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. Did you say so? Oh, there's no wall as well. One. We don't have time to pick it. Stand back. Grab the papers. Smash the rest. I Burn it all. Make sure you get the adverts. Several men broke into the expedition headquarters. What they didn't smash, they burned. The archives, even the newspapers. Okay. Okay, brave. Please brave. <laughs> and yes, must be deliver Grim Haven Bay. Grim Haven Bay. So we'll go. Okay, somewhere here. I don't know where exactly, but somewhere to... Somewhere in Grimhaven Bay. Yeah, that's it. The expedition archive is lost, but I still have clues to follow up on. Though they left the city on a freighter from Grimhaven Bay. There might be recent posting on ads about the freighter in the Oakmont Chronicle. Oakmont Chronicle. Oakmont Chronicle. Okay, give me. Is it. No, so I suppose it's somewhere here. Wait, I saw it. I think I saw it. Isn't it here? Yeah. So, right. Okay, but you know what? Actually, we'll get there tomorrow. For now, thank you very much. Bye-bye.